coefficient of a line segment. Let p x comma y be a point in the straight line through p1 x1 y1 and p2 x2 comma y2. If the segments p1 p and p p2 are such that p1 p over p p2 is equal to r1 over r2. The point p is said to divide the segment p1 p2 in the ratio of r1 is to r2. Internally, if p lies in the segment p1 p2 and externally if p lies in the segment p1 p2 produces in either direction. In this diagram, we have p1 p2 and point p lies in between the segment p1 p2 therefore it is internally while the second diagram we have p1 p2 and the point p lies outside the line of or segment p1 p2 and that's externally if the division of the segment p1 p2 is internal then p1 p over p p2 is equal to m1 m over m m2 so we have p1 p over p p2 and the ratio is m1 m and over m m2 or x minus x sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x and to solve for x r2 times x minus r2 times x1 is equal to r1 x2 minus r1 x and then simplify r1 plus r2 open close parenthesis times x is equal to r2 x1 plus r1 x2 and to find the value for x x is equal to r2 x1 plus r1 x2 all over r1 plus r2 so this is the value for x and for y y is equals to r sub 2 or r2 y1 plus r1 y2 all over r1 plus r2 for the case of external division it will be convenient to consider the line p1 p2 as directed then since p1 p and p p2 are measured in opposite directions their ratio must be negative of the numbers r1 r2 one must be taken positive and the other is negative so we have p1 p so the ratio for r1 is m1 m and i'll be using a positive sign and for p p2 the direction is going back therefore the ratio r2 is m m2 and the sign is negative example a point divides internally the line segment joining the points 8 comma 9 and negative 7 comma 4 in the ratio 2 is to 3 find the coordinates of the point so we have the given coordinate we have from 0 up to 10 and this will be y axis and this is x axis we plot the points 8 comma 9 so we have 8 and 9 so this is the point 8 and 9 and negative 7 negative 7 and 4 and this is the point so this is p1 which is 8 comma 9 and p2 which is negative 7 comma 4 and we form a line from p1 up to p2 the point p is at ratio 
2 is to 3 which means from P1 to P the ratio is 2 and from P to P2 is 3 and approximately P and designate as X comma Y so we will find the coordinate of P which is X comma Y using the division of a line segment and the formula for division of a line segment we have X is equal to R sub 2 X 1 plus R sub 1 times X sub 2 and we divide by R1 plus R2 and the same thing for Y we have R sub 2 times Y sub 1 plus R sub 1 times Y sub 2 all over R1 plus R2 using P1 P all over P P2 we have the ratio R1 over R2 and we need to identify what is R1 and R2 in the given we have the ratio 2 is to 3 which means from P1 P we have the ratio of 2 and from P to P2 we have the ratio of 3 so R1 or R sub 1 is equal to 2 and R sub 2 is equal to 3 and we substitute the values of x1, x2, y1, y2. x based on our formula r2, x1 plus r1, x2 we have 3 and multiply by x1 x sub 1 is the point p1 which is this will be x1 this will be x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 so 3 times x sub 1 which is 8 plus r sub 1 3 oh sorry 2 and x sub 2 is negative 7 so this will be negative 7 all over R1 plus R2 or 2 plus 3 and we have 24 2 times 7 is 14 and we divide by 2 plus 3 is 5 24 minus 14 is 10 all over 2 or sorry all over 5 and X is equal to 10 over 5 or 2 then we solve for Y Y using the formula R sub 2 we have 3 and y sub 1 that's 9 plus r sub 1 2 and y sub 2 4 and we divide by r1 plus r2 or 2 plus 3 and simplify 3 times 9 is 27 plus 2 times 4 is 8 and we divide by 2 plus 3 is 5 or this will be 27 plus 8 is 35 all over 5 and y is equal to 35 over 5 is 7 so the coordinate P x1 uh, x y is equal to P 2 comma 7 and this is the point P and based on the diagram we have 2 for x and y is 7 so this is the value example the segment from p1 5 comma negative 4 to p2 7 comma negative 9 is extended beyond p2 so that its length is doubled find the terminal point so we have p1 5 negative 4 so this will be y axis and x axis so point p1 we have 5 and negative 4 and this is the point this is p1 
and 5, negative 4. Next, P2. We have 7, negative 9. So 7, negative 9. And this is the point. And this is P2, which is 7, negative 9. And it is extended beyond P2 so that its length is doubled. So P is more than or extended beyond the point P2. And it is extended. So this is the point. That's 7, negative 9. This is P1. And we have point P. Point P of X, Y. So we'll copy first the formula for division of a line segment. For X, we have X is equals to R sub 2 X1 plus R sub 1 X2 all over R1 plus R2 while Y is equal to R sub 2 Y sub 1 plus R sub 1 Y sub 2 all over R1 plus R2 R1 plus R2 to find R1 we have P1 P so P1 P so we have division 1 and 2 or equivalent to P1 P we have 2 and R2 that's P P2 that's P and going back to P2 and our point P is external therefore one of the ratio should be negative or P P2 that's going to the opposite direction and this one has one division so therefore that's one and it is going back therefore that's negative and we find now the value for x this will be p1 is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 and we have r2 that's negative 1 and multiplied by x1 that's 5 plus r1 that's 2 times x2 that's 7 and we divide by r1 that's 2 and r2 negative 1 and we have negative 5 plus 14 and we divide by 1 or this will be 14 minus 5 is 9 what about y we have r2 that's negative 1 and multiplied by y sub 1 that's negative 4 plus r1 2 and multiplied by y2 that's negative 9 and we divide by r1 that's 2 and r2 that's negative 1 and y is equal to negative 1 times negative 4 that's 4 positive and 2 times negative 9 that's negative 18 and we divide by 2 minus 1 or 1 and y is equal to negative 14 and p is equal to 9 negative 14 so this point is equivalent to 9 negative 14 and that's the point